This is not gonna be another one of those videos where I'm like, oopsies, I dropped it all on the floor. Oh no, it tastes so bad. No, I am nothing if not a baker. Nothing if not a baker. Nothing if not a baker. 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 When I set out to make this video, my intentions were clear. Make a fun baking and Q&A combo. It'll be simple, I thought to myself. How hard can it be? You bake a little, you talk a little, you drop a few baking sheets here and there to get that quirky relatable factor. People joke about baking and Q&A videos being easy content all the time, and this will be no exception, I thought. I was a fool. I have been baking for years. I have made macarons approximately 598 thousand times. Here's some examples of my previous work, because if I don't show you, I don't think you're going to believe that I know how to bake. Never have I had an experience as scarring as this one. I suppose I may as well start at the beginning. This is not the story I wanted to tell, but it is the story that I was given. The story of my Sanrio macarons and the suffering that ensued. Part 1. Bumbling Beginnings. The eve of Wednesday, July 22nd approached. I knew it was time to film a new video. I brought my camera downstairs, but my parents wanted to watch a movie. So they asked if I could film the next day. No problem, my mom and dad. I'll just do it tomorrow. I'm sure it'll be fine then. The next morning. I bring the camera back down. I set things up. I loiter for a while. I gather my ingredients, including six egg whites. Six egg whites. This is important information for later. It's a lot of egg whites. Then this starts happening. I don't really know what the problem was. My father came downstairs and unplugged a bunch of things until the noise eventually stopped, but I had stuff to do other than film this video, and I was a little annoyed at the misfortune I had experienced thus far. It's fine, I thought. I'll film a little later. Things will go better then. <laughs> <laughs> Part two, a misleading moment. A very brief moment when things were just going as they should. Hello everyone. We're baking again today because I wanted to. You've seen the title. I don't know why I explain to you guys what we're doing every time I make a video. That's what titles are for. Anyway, we're making macarons. I think I've said it in the past already, but I had a pretty intense baking phase. Honestly, anytime I start any video, you can just assume that I'll start it with I had a Phase. Yeah, I can't stick to one interest to save my life. So here's the plan for today. Um, you see, yeah, that's the plan. Lots of people think making macarons is really hard and I guess it can be if you don't know how to follow instructions. <laughs> But I haven't done it in a really long time, so these might turn out disastrous. So I'm doubling this recipe because why not? So I will have to do some thinking. But you know, as a wise man once said to me, two plus two is four minus one, that's three. Quick maths. So I think I've got it. I think it'll be fine. No. This is the moment that it all went wrong. Part three, technical tragedy. At this point, my camera died and I tried using my blender as a food processor for the almond flour because the recipe comments told me I could. They lied. They really lied. They lied a lot. That was such a lie. That was such a huge lie. The almond flour clumped together. I don't have many regrets in life, but trying to put almond flour in the blender is one of them. I've never used this recipe before, but I didn't think it would lead me astray as it has thus far. I'm really annoyed I'm gonna have clumpy macarons. Is that what we wanted? Is that what we signed up for? Absolutely not. Then I finally got started and the first step of the recipe is to beat your egg whites until stiff peaks form. So I was beating the egg whites for a hundred years. So let's at least get one thing right during this video and answer some questions. A few moments later. I just recorded over 30 minutes and it wasn't capturing audio. Why is this video cursed? Let's hope that this time it records the audio or else I'm literally gonna lose it because this video has taken up so much of my time. So I asked you guys on various platforms if you had questions for me. No. 
Okay. Do you have any tips and tricks or personal struggles while staying motivated when starting new projects and hobbies? Well, Jake, if you just take a look at my upload history, you will see that I am really bad at this. I think the best motivation is when you think yourself into a panic that if you don't get good at something right now, you will be a failure for the rest of your life. And so you have to aggressively work at it all the time because this anxiety is just like at the back of your head constantly. Just kidding, don't do that. It's a really bad idea. Do you have good music taste? Um. No, yes, no. What's your advice for people starting at new towns and schools and how was your experience with it? I moved twice within two years and one of those was across the country from Louisiana to Massachusetts. Well, let me show you the first two videos that I made after moving the first time. Yeah, it didn't go well. The second time went well, but I just got lucky. I'm not the person to be asking about this. I don't ask me. If the universe is going to end, in the grand scheme of things, nothing matters. So does that mean that the limited time is what makes it matter? Or does nothing actually matter? And we just have to kind of deal with it however we can. <laughs> Plans for the fall? Don't know. Me neither. Everything's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Well, it's been a little while now, so let's go see how my egg whites are doing. You know, my six egg whites. My six egg whites that I specifically separated the night before so that they could age overnight like the recipe told me to. My six egg whites that I took special care to make sure they were room temperature, just like I was supposed to. My six egg whites. Oh, bad. They're doing bad. They never reached stiff peaks. They were at best pathetic peaks. They were really watery, sad little peaks. So I kept beating them and then I overbeat them, which means they're unsalvageable, which means I just wasted six egg whites. <laughs> Part four, when at first you don't succeed, rage quit for an hour and then try again out of spite. I was determined not to mess it up this time. So I really carefully beat the egg whites and they actually cooperated this time. And then I finally got all the ingredients actually mixed together, which is not supposed to be as hard as it was, but it's fine. It's fine. We got there eventually. Then it was time to actually make them Sanrio shaped. I divided it up, added food coloring, and then started piping, which took me forever. So which is better, cottagecore or dark academia? Cottagecore and dark academia are two sides of the same coin. They're just seasonal. Do you collect anything? And if so, what? I guess I collect fountain pens, even though I only have two, but it's okay. You're all I need. What inspired you to be a YouTuber? I've been on this website for so long. I have older cousins that introduced me to YouTube and little me was like, this is the best thing I've ever seen. So I've always wanted to be a YouTuber, even since the early days before anything was monetized. Do you do bullet journaling or regular journaling? Yes, I do just regular journaling. I actually finished a journal like last week. So I started this new one. I'm aware I am five years old inside my head, but you can't tell me you don't look at these stickers and get some serotonin. What movie do you think is underrated? The Farewell is such a good movie, criminally underrated. When I saw it in theaters, I cried so hard. What's the hardest part about being first generation American? It's just a very specific experience that only other first generation Americans can understand really fully. So what are study techniques that work for you? I did this during high school. Making studying an aesthetic is the best thing I ever did for myself. I also watch a lot of like study and productivity YouTubers when I need some motivation would highly recommend Ruby Granger. What is your toxic trait? I am a control freak. Don't do group projects with me. I will be insane. Can you show us your favorite headband? This is my go-to. It's bejeweled. I need to stop wearing headbands. It's not a good look, but you know, when I really need to get the hair out of my face, it's just... This is where things started going really wrong again. My piping was not fun and becoming a mess, but it's okay. We're just gonna keep going because I needed to finish these macarons or I would die. Which part is the most fun while making videos? Is it the voiceovers? What makes you wanna continue creating videos and what keeps you motivated? You guys keep me motivated. Seeing that people actually like watching my videos is so cool. Yeah, the voiceovers are fun because I just get to do whatever. Same with the editing. Best advice you've ever received. Stop worrying about what people think about you because they're too busy worrying about themselves to worry about you. At this point, I was just really desperate to be finished with this project. So I finished them up as quickly as I could, let them sit for 45 minutes and then pop them in the oven. And then in the end, they looked, uh, well, 
bad. I had accidentally crushed one. They all stuck horrendously to the bottom of the pan. They had not settled correctly, or they were horrifically cracked. <sighs> it was such a disaster that I think I should maybe just never bake again. I thought it would be fine because I could just fill them with buttercream and they would be tasty, but then the butter tasted all freezer burny. So in the end, I mostly just gave them to my parents, which I'm sure is a situation they're fine with. So here they are. Here are my stupid macarons and their stupid faces. They took me a whole day to make only to have the audacity to turn out so ugly. And I had them done at the low, low price of my entire sanity. If you want to send help, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram or Twitter or support me on Patreon. Bye. Thank you.